Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got Samsung Galaxy A50. So this device is having one UI version 1.21 and Android version 9. Not updating and not coming OTA update via internet. The internet is already connected. Wi-Fi is connected. Let me go back to check the software update. Tapping the software update. Already the Wi-Fi is connected. Download and install. Let me see what the device will say. Your software is up to date. Check the model number. Current version is A505F. I will go back to about phone. You can see the model number is A505F. This procedure does not require unlock bootloader or root anything. Just follow the steps. You will get your set updated. I'm moving towards my computer screen. So this is the website uh, and uh, I will type my Galaxy A50 model number here A505F. You can see click and then to come down like uh, I am from Asia. I am living in my country Pakistan which is located and situated in Asia. You can go according to your region. So I will tap to select pa Pakistan and then scrolling down to check what version we have currently the latest update galaxy a50 is having android 11 i will sorry click on it and i can download this uh, firmware version uh, straight to my computer hard drive by clicking the download on browser already download the firmware and uh, else what we need let me show Ordin 3.13.1 and then this is the firmware file and also the samsung usb driver first of all we need to install samsung usb driver first on the computer windows then extract the firmware file in same folder then extract the audin 3.13.1 in same folder then double click to open the extracted folder of firmware to check we got all the files over here go back and open the extracted folder of audin then double click the Ordin file, click OK on next window, the Ordin will get open. Now moving towards the mobile phone first, so the device is not getting update from OTA. So we have to flash and update this device manually and those who are having A50, A40, A51, 52, 53, if you, if you guys are not getting OTA update, this is the proper way to update the set. So must save all the internal storage data. This uh, procedure will format everything. Check the battery should be charged around 50 to 60 percent and uh, then go to settings and go to lock screen. Must select the screen lock swipe to turn off the lock screen password. Then go back, go to account sync sync your all google uh, all accounts like if you are having a samsung account sync your samsung account then remove it like i mean to say log out from the samsung account and, and also sync your google account and then remove remove your google account must otherwise we will have or we will get issue after flashing now you can power off the mobile phone when the mobile phone properly gets power off then hold the mobile phone in your left hand hold the data cable in your right hand check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer now just concentrate here mobile phone must be power off we need to boot the set into ordin mode for that press and hold the volume up key and volume down key press both the volume up and volume down keys keep it press and then connect the cable the set will boot into warning screen this green scene then release all the keys when you see this warning screen then press the volume up key once to continue and this is the Ordin mode screen my, mo my mobile product name is SMA505F current binary is Samsung official now coming back towards the computer screen I have already installed the Samsung USB driver so Ordin detect my mobile phone you can see the COM3 sign here now Click the BL first here on Ordin. Then I will go to my downloaded folder where I have saved all the files. The uh, I will open the extracted of uh, Samsung firmware. Then I will select the file starting from BL. Select the file, then click open. Ordin will boot the file. You can see leave CS and check sign, which means that Ordin booted the file. Now click AP. Same folder will appears again. Then 
click to select the file starting from ap then click open this time the order will take a little bit time you can see leave cs and check sign over here then click cp and uh, select the file starting from cp then click open here Ordin booted the file also then click csc and select the file starting from csc then click open and Ordin booted all the files that required for flushing now go, go to options and untick the auto reboot then go back to log and then click start the flushing will get started now it will take a time just wait for it let the flushing complete then we will continue when you see pass message it means that flushing got completed you can simply click the reset button and click exit so we can exit the ordin and we are done from the computer first of all disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and then press and hold the volume down key and then power key for like 7 to 8 seconds or maybe 10 seconds the set will get reboot set got rebooted and it will start booting to stock rom just wait for it now welcome screen appears uh, complete the setup screen so finally the mobile phone got updated from android version 9 we'll go to about phone then we'll go to software information and definitely you will see one ui version 3.1 android version 11 baseband must see that baseband version is appears on your screen set got updated from android 9 to android version 11 and this device was not getting ota update i have manually update the galaxy a50 from one ui 1.1 to one ui 3.1 from android version 9 to android version 11 Thank you so much. Do not forget to like the video. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.